Okay, so I want to talk about Bernie Sanders for a minute because I really like Bernie Sanders. I'm rooting for Bernie Sanders and looking over the events of the past week or two, I just I feel like someone needs to step up and defend him. Someone really needs to defend Bernie Sanders from his own supporters. Not all of you, but some of you Bernie Sanders supporters really need to calm the hell down right now. Last week in Seattle, we saw two young women step to Bernie Sanders with raw anger. Him and his people didn't really know how to handle it. The crowd reacted badly and it escalated into an uncomfortable scene. I felt uncomfortable watching it, I'm not gonna lie. I don't think it was a perfectly polished piece of political theater, but I do think the net result was positive and I respect it. If you disagree, if you didn't like this particular tactic, I think there's room to disagree. I can respect that, but what I don't respect is how quick a lot of Sanders supporters were to jump from discomfort with that moment to disrespect for those two women and from discomfort with that moment to dismissing an entire movement and the underlying attitude it reveals towards black people who presume to think that Sanders needs to earn their vote. And there's so many things I could say about this, but I want to keep it brief. So look, if I come up to you and say, hey, you see that guy over there? I know you've never met him before, but that guy guy is your best friend. And if you don't take my word for that right now and just get inside his van, then you don't know what's good for you. If I stepped to you like that, I'm pretty sure you wouldn't want to talk to me or that guy ever again. If I'm trying to help that guy make friends, this is that's the worst way to go about it. You need to stop telling us that he marched with Martin Luther King. I promise we already heard about that. And that's great that he marched with Dr. King in the 60s, but we also marched with Janet Jackson in the 80s, and she taught us to ask, what have you done for me lately? Anyone who cares about you and wants your trust should be ready to answer that question. And if you really believe in Bernie Sanders, you should have faith that he can answer that question. Which is why at the end of the day, instead of being mad at Black Lives Matter or mad at those two activists, every Bernie Sanders supporter should be thanking them for what they've done. Because no matter how awkward some of it might might be to watch, this pressure is exactly what Sanders needed in order to prove himself and make his campaign stronger, to make it what it needed to be. There's been a gap for decades between lefties who think that economic justice automatically covers racial justice and those who think that racial justice is actually a thing of its own that you need to focus on. This pressure from Black Lives Matter has gotten Bernie Sanders to bridge that gap more than he ever has before and that's a win for everybody. Everybody's winning right now. Black Lives Matter is doing exactly what people said they couldn't do. They're focusing on electoral politics and having specific impact on policy discussion. And that work is already bringing each of the candidates a little bit closer to truly representing all of the people they're supposed to serve. Everybody's winning. No campaign and no movement has ever prevailed by trying to stay comfortable. You're supposed to have messy, awkward, painful moments and get stronger by working past them. That's what the work requires and that's how you get strong enough to do the work together. I've heard again and again from Sanders supporters that if I feel like he's being sloppy sometimes, that he's not graceful and light on his feet, I should cut him slack for that and I should stick with him because the cause is so worthwhile. I agree with that and I think it goes both ways. And that means if you are a Sanders supporter who truly believes in the values he speaks, there is no way you will let one uncomfortable moment make you turn your your back on a cause and a movement as vital as the one represented by that raw anger from those two women on that stage. And I think Bernie Sanders gets that, so I'm hoping that his supporters are going to get it too.